5-1 loss here to Minnesota State. Can we just get your initial thoughts on today's game? Yeah, you know, again, it, it, it's similar to yesterday. I, I appreciated the effort of the guys. I really did. I thought, you know, it's tough when you lose, but I thought the guys really, once again, stuck with it. Now, we took more penalties tonight than we had last night, but, I, um, you know, I, I – None of them were of the variety where it would have really set me off in terms of a, a really a poor penalty. I didn't see them all, though, so I can't comment on all of them. But it wasn't too bad. I appreciate the effort, though. I appreciate the stick to of, of the team. I thought they, you know, they never really – we didn't lose energy. We just kept coming and trying. Um, other things, I thought Cam Clark played really well on the right wing. He scored a goal, but he scored it on his power play position, so he's been in that spot. But beyond that, I thought, boy, he, he looked really comfortable on the right side. I think he – is that him? But, yeah, he looked really – he looked really comfortable there. I thought uh, Liam McDougal had a really good game. One of the things we talked about was was trying to, to, to be a little bit more aggressive, uh, holding our blue line. I thought the guys did a really good job with that. So, you know, all in all, I thought I, I, I give the guys a lot of credit. I thought the battle, there's plenty. You know what? It, it's easy to coach a team that comes and works, and they did. And and now it allows us, to, okay, we're, we can really take a, a good look and, and get to work on Monday and you know, watch the video. But when we got the right effort level and, and the hearts are in the right place, which I, I believe they were, uh, only good can come of it. And, and we'll take the lessons learned and, and we'll apply them. But I, I feel as though, hey, there's a lot there to work with, uh, probably more so than the guys. I know they're pretty dejected, but I, I, I don't want them to be. Uh, that's a pretty good team, too. There was a power play goal in the third that was just a great goal. It was a cross right through the seam, and I thought we did a good job of killing it. it was, that was, you know, pretty close to unstoppable. Guys were in the right place, did all the right things. It was just a great play. I thought they were a very good team. They were well coached, and they, they just got right now they're – that's as good a team as I've seen in terms of uh, they, they've got four lines that could do damage, um, good decor, and a really good goaltender. Because we had some pretty good looks tonight, too, but their goalie was really good. And you just had to go with freshman goaltender Carter McPhail. Can you just talk about your opinion and how he played tonight? I thought he was okay. I, I, the one thing I really was kind of tough was we we had finally we scored to make it 3-1, and I thought, boy, we get that next one. It could be different. And he let in a real soft one from number four, and then within – I think it was within a minute, and when you grind and you work so hard, those are the ones that you, you hey, you got to have that, and uh, and he will as he as he learns to develop. So you know that, and and then rebound control. Their shots were up tonight. I don't know that they had as many good chances as they had last night. Um, but, uh, you know, there was a lot of pucks, you know, kind of kicked right back out into the slot. So he's got some things to work on, too. I th you know, all in all, he looked comfortable in there. He played hard. He worked hard in net. But but there's some technique things there with, with, with pucks laying around our net and, and then exchanges with the defensemen and, and maybe overplaying the puck at certain points. But effort level was there. The heart was there. You talked about you took a few more penalties, but you also uh, got your first power play goal of the weekend and nearly got a shorthanded one as well. Talk about how the special teams was. Yeah, no, I, I thought it was pretty good. They, they, I think they ended up with three power play goals on the night. Um, you know, but yet never let – you know, I, I thought the guys did a pretty good job killing. I really did. And, uh, you know, we, we did have the one which, you know, I, I didn't see – I can't see from the bench whether it went in or not. The ref said he never saw it go in. That's – you know, he can't call a goal if he doesn't see it. He went to the video. It, in his opinion, it sat in the line. He never actually saw it cross the line, so it's no goal. But, but the, you know, right call, but uh, never left. Great, great uh, effort by 15 and 20. You know, the other guys that I thought really – as the game went on, I, I wanted to go with them more, and I thought they did a super job. Was uh, Ethan Stewart and uh, and Brendan Rons on the kill? Um, that's probably the most kill time they've gotten, and they, and they the more they were out there killing, the more comfortably they looked. And it's nice, you know, if we can find some other guys too. So maybe take some of the heat off. Uh, you know, we use Liam McDougall an awful lot. We use. Uh, um, Jake Transit a lot. We're using Tackett a lot. We're using uh, Moist a lot. If we can spread that load, that, that'll, that'll uh, keep them fresh to create offenses, and, and that's what we need them to do. Uh, going back to your goaltenders, you've been switching between Roney and Austin for a few games now. What made you decide to go with McPhail tonight? Uh, I just I, I wanted to take a look. I really liked the way Roney played last night. I did. Um, you know, the, I, I thought he was solid last night. I thought he looked really 
compact. He didn't overplay things. He didn't make things look overly difficult. Um, and and, and I, I, I've noticed an uptick in, in his confidence and, and his uh, approach and practice. And, and so I felt like I didn't want to roll with him again tonight. I wanted him just to take that one game uh, and, and then bring – he wanted he wanted to start, of course, tonight. But he had the good game, and I thought, hey, let's bring that to practice on Monday and let's have another good week of practice and, and, and uh, go from there. And, and I just felt like uh, Austin had an opportunity in Bemidji, played two games. He played, he played okay, adequately. Um, but, you know, there was an opportunity there for him, and I thought, well, maybe it's Carter's turn. Let's see what he can do. Uh, Minnesota stay really, really quick on transition tonight. How much more difficult does that make to defend a team who's just so so quick out of their zone? I yeah, they are. It, it really is, and 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 they really get up the ice. It's a, a really good observation, Cora. But um, what I liked, I thought there was times we we were able to slow them down by by compressing the ice and our D staying up more. So why we didn't solve the whole thing? I I, I, I you know, if we were to face them again. Um, which I would cherish. I would like that. I think that makes us a better team. If we were to face them again down the road, you know, I think there's some things there we can take from this series and, and apply them and, and be better for it. And then uh, first week of classes here for the guys and also one of your first full weeks home for a while and a while since uh, been winter break started. How important is it just to be home for a week and let the guys kind of rest up? I think it's great. You know, we, we, we had last week, we got back from Bemidji on Sunday, and, and so we had a, one full week. Now we get a second week, which is really important, especially with it being the first week of school. It gives, it gives a guy a chance to be grounded. Um, you know, uh, so I, I do think it's important. And, uh, you know, I, I, I just really look forward to Monday. I, I do. Uh, Monday's practice, I, I think, um, you know, We'll get right back at it, and there, there was enough positives there. I think we can we can uh, we can you know start implementing some things. And you know I don't know if we're going to get uh, Lucas Finner and Cole Norris back. You know it's possible. I, I would say now it's you know they're, they're in the uh, the realm each and every day. They're getting better. Whether they're quite ready to return the lineup, I don't know. But you know that'll be another shot in the arm, and that'll allow us to kind of put the players maybe in the spots. Uh, uh, you know, into the roles that each guy was really uh, slated for. I do think uh, Cam Clark made things a little bit tough on us, though, tonight because he played that well up at forward. You know, that was just something we wanted to take a look. And, you know, I don't know, Cam and I haven't had a chance to BS about it yet, but he looks like, you know, he might be hard to move out of the, uh, being a forward. I, I thought he played that well. All right, Cam, tough night for you guys, but you scored your, your first goal this season. Can you just walk us through uh, that and your first night as a forward? Yeah, um, uh, Dougie made a good play on the entry. He just gave it to me uh, on the half wall and kind of walked in. They gave me some space. Uh, the D blocked the first one, and luckily it came right back to me, and I got it past the uh, goalie's arm. So it was nice to get uh, the first one of the year. Then playing on a tough Minnesota State team this weekend, what was it about them that just made them so difficult? You know, they just move their feet constantly at all times. You know, uh, in the offensive zone, they're always moving playing hard and they, they get out of their uh, own zone very quickly so it's hard to sustain pressure so um, they're a good team but uh, I think we made some strides this weekend and hopefully we can uh, get to that level. Um, you guys were creating some good opportunities throughout your power plays and you didn't end up scoring to the fourth so I mean what does that say to you about your team and, and just their willingness to keep going at it? Yeah I know uh, we had a lot of resilience in this team no one gave up you know uh, everyone kept working and um, same with the power play you know we had those ch we had chances we knew they were going to come and uh, you know, luckily we got one, and hopefully we can build on it for next week. And then that uh, that shorthanded goal that got called back, when, you know, was that disheartening to you guys out on the ice to, you know, have an opportunity to cut that lead down and then have it taken away? Yeah, it would be nice to have that goal, but I, I, I didn't see it, so I'm not sure if it went in or not. But uh, on the bench, we were just saying keep going, you know, uh, got a lot left to uh, play for and, you know, a lot more to build on, and we got a long season ahead, so uh, we didn't let it get a two down for us. What's, uh, what's the key thing in the next couple of weeks that you guys feel uh uh, you need to do to turn the corner and get some wins. Um, I feel like uh, in the offensive zone, we got to sustain more pressure. Uh, we got to get more pucks on net, and um, that'll create more chances. Uh, like Coach D said, um, the D stepping up, um, creating turnovers in the neutral zone was uh, a good step for us, and um, hopefully that'll turn into some wins for us down the road. You look into the uh, last several weeks of the, of the season, your career here at Ferris. What's been the most uh, enjoyable part about being here at Ferris Hockey? Uh, no, just my teammates. You know. I'm, Especially my class, we're so close, and uh, they're my best friends, and 
that's like the greatest thing that uh, about being here is uh, everyone's so tight and so um, close knit, and you know everybody on campus. It's a small community, so it's one. It's probably the best uh, thing about Ferris. And I know Coach said he liked you up top. What was your opinion on playing for tonight? It, it's it's uh it's it's different for sure. Uh, a lot of different uh, aspects of your game you got to bring out, and um, haven't played forward and I can tell you a lot of years. So. Um, I'm just happy I could help and contribute to the team as, as, any, as any way I could.